Jim Bob Duggar had an interesting political career that was revealed in the shiny happy people. Duggar Family Secrets Documentary Jim Bob and Michelle Duggar follow the teaching of the Institute in Basic Life Principles, which some believe is a religious cult. The reality TV family has been at the forefront of their religion for years, and is often seen as the pinnacle of what a family can achieve. However, behind the scenes, there are leaders who want to gain world domination. While on the air, the reality show 19 Kids and Counting was a hit since most Americans had never seen such a large family. Jim Bob and Michelle raised their children with a strict Christian moral code that included no radio or TV, modest dressing, and not kissing until the couple's wedding day. While Jim Bob and Michelle always presented a united front, the patriarch dreamed of bigger things for himself and his organization. Jim Bob's political career explained Jim Bob got his start in politics in the March for Life walk in 1997, sharing that God spoke to him. During this time frame, Jim Bob met the governor at the time, Mike Huckabee. He ran for Arkansas State Representative for District 6 in 1999 and served four years in the Arkansas House of Representatives until 2003. In 2002, Jim Bob tried to run for the United States Senate, but was defeated by the incumbent Senator Tim Hutchinson. The father of 19 tried once again to run in 2006 and again was defeated. Why politics are important to IBLP The IBLP organization wants as many people to be recruited in Jesus' name and wants the conservative agenda, like anti-abortion laws, to be passed. In Shiny Happy People, former members shared that the IBLP isn't a religious group, but more of a movement that wants its members sitting in high places. This could be a reason why Jim Bob decided to get involved in politics. Why Jim Bob lost race for Arkansas Senate in 2021 In 2021, poll results from the Arkansas Secretary of State website showed that Jim Bob lost his primary race by receiving only 15% of the vote. Jim Bob's opponent for the Arkansas Senate seat was Colby Fulfer, a former city council member and a retired U. S. Navy Captain. Colby won with over 46% of the public's vote, with Steve Unger winning 36% of the vote. The two then faced off in a primary runoff, which took place on January 11. In the end, Colby won the seat. With only 456 votes, Jim Bob was defeated for his chance on the Republican ticket. The seat opened up after Senator Lance Eads resigned. Josh Duger's conviction was a black cloud over the entire family, and cost Jim Bob any hope he had to have a career in politics, which was exposed on Shiny Happy People, Duggar Family Secrets. Source, Arkansas Secretary of State. Sure.